Hey, how's it going? It's Russell James. In this video, I've got a, a little treat for you. It's one from The Vault. This video from 2012, which I'd completely forgotten about. The recipe itself is in my 10 free recipes ebook, so you can check out the description to get the link for where to download that. And we've also included the link to the recipe itself in the description. So, with no further ado, let's jump into this. Cacao crepes, cashew creme fraiche, and chocolate sauce. Let's go, and I'll see you at the end. Hi, how's it going? I've got a really uh, cool little recipe for you today, and it's one of those things that you're not gonna have every day. It's cacao crepes. We've got some fresh fruit we're gonna throw in there, and we've got some uh, cashew creme fraiche. And it's, it takes a little bit of time, but it's not too complicated, and I think you're really gonna love it, so let's get straight into it. So, the ingredients. We've got some, uh, some courgette, and obviously you wanna peel this courgette, or zucchini, depending on where you are in the world, because we don't want the crepes ending up being a, a horrible mixture of chocolate brown and zucchini courgette green. So um, I've measured out my zucchini courgette into the, um, into the blender. I've got half of vanilla pod, I'll come to that in a second. Now in your recipe you'll see that uh, I've used mango, but depending on the season, what's seasonally available, um, you can swap up the fruit. So we're gonna be using pears, because that's what's in season when I'm shooting this video. And uh, what that's gonna do when we dehydrate these, you know if you make like a fruit leather in a dehydrator, you get that kind of pliability. So you may have seen in some raw food recipes, crepes made out of uh, coconut meat. And so coconut meat is great to dehydrate because it gives that pliability. But obviously it's a little bit tricky to find. Not everyone's got access to young Thai coconut. So we can get that by using fruit in combination with the flax, which is gonna go in in a second. So I'm basically, I'm just putting all my wet ingredients in first. It's my sweetener, and I'm actually using maple syrup. If you want to use maple syrup or honey or coconut nectar, whatever you've got, it's all good. A uh, little pinch of salt, and then oh, let me put in my, my vanilla here. Let's not forget that. So you can use vanilla extract if you want. I just really prefer to use the fresh vanilla. Take the seeds out. So let's get that smooth before adding the dry ingredients. Once that's smooth, add your dry ingredients and blend again. All right, so we've got that blended up nicely. We're gonna take our dehydrator tray with a non-stick sheet on and then what I find is a good idea here is to take a quarter cup measure and you should, with a quarter cup measure, be able to make eight mini crepes, so four to a tray. And you don't have to be too meticulous with it, but you know, just four on each section of the, the non-stick sheet. And then you can kind of decide how much time you want to spend doing this, but I'm using one of these offset spatulas or offset uh, palette knives. You could do this with a spoon as well if you wanted and just go around, just gradually increasing the circumference of these rounds until you're happy uh, with how they're looking. So once all eight crepes are spread out, they go in the dehydrator, 105 degrees for about eight to 10 hours. And then we end up with these amazing, pliable cacao crepes ready to go. So the cashew creme fraiche really is just very, very simple. And if you've made like a cashew cheese, it's, it's almost like that, but not quite as involved. So we're gonna use these cashews, which really, only need to be soaked for about 20 minutes. And all we're gonna do really is blend those up. 
And we're going to blend them with the water. Just a touch of lemon juice. And then we've got our probiotics. So I couldn't actually get any probiotics that are um, spoonable. So I've got these capsules, which is perfectly fine because all you need to do is take those apart and empty them out into the mix. All right, so once we've got that nice and smooth, we're gonna transfer that to a bowl. And the probiotics in there are gonna culture this to give it a little bit of a uh, bit of tang. So we're just gonna cover that up with a towel, leave that at room temperature for about 12 hours, which is overnight for most people. And then we can come back, have a taste test, add a little bit of salt and a little bit of apple cider vinegar, and that's gonna be ready to use in the recipe. So for the chocolate sauce then, pretty much the same as the creme fraiche. Just blend up these simple ingredients. Again, cashews that have been soaked with the water. And this is about the smallest amount of volume you can get away with in the Vitamix and still have it blend. So I'm using maple syrup, just goes really nicely with chocolate. We can put all our dry ingredients in as well because it's not a huge amount of volume. So the blender is going to be able to deal with this all in one go. A pinch of salt and then I'm going to put some vanilla in here as well. With that blended, I'll just have a little test of the consistency. Looks nice and smooth. All right, let's have a taste. Mm, fantastic. So, I'm gonna get all these ingredients together, get the fresh berries out, and we'll put this together and make it look really fantastic. So now we've got all these amazing ingredients ready, let's put this together and make it look a little bit special. So we're gonna plate up three of these, and as you may have heard me say on other videos, when you're plating um, using odd numbers, it makes things look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing for whatever reason. So we've got three of our crepes, and you'll find that when you peel them off, if they're still slightly wet underneath, you can just pop them back into the dehydrator for maybe another 30 minutes. Um, take them off of this non-stick sheet and just put them onto the mesh. Um, but these ones seem to be dry quite nicely on both sides. And if they are a little bit wet on that side, that's fine. You know, that'll still work. So, we've got our creme fraiche. And what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of fresh fruit to that. So I've got blueberries and raspberries. A decent amount here so you don't have to use up all your creme fraiche I'm just doing that you know because of what we're doing here but this creme fraiche will store in the fridge for a good good four or five days okay so just mix those berries through okay and then Take your, uh, your crepes, fold them over in half, and then half again, and you get these little pockets to, to fill up. And try not to overfill them too much. A little bit of spillage is okay, but you don't want to overdo it. Okay, and then Got a nice long white plate here. I'm gonna take some of our chocolate sauce. And you could put this in a, a squeeze bottle if you want to and do a kind of zigzag. And I'm just gonna take my spoon, pop a bit on the plate there. 
and then just use my spoon to just smear that through. Maybe a little bit extra. Before you actually place them down, just get a look at where exactly you want them to go. I want some of that smear to, to show through. So I'm just gonna place the, the first one there, the second one right next to it, and then the third one all facing the same way. And then we'll finish that off with a little dusting of cacao powder. There you go then. Fresh cacao crepes, creme fraiche, fresh berries with the chocolate sauce. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Click the thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Subscribe to my channel and make sure you click the little bell to get notified each and every time we uh, publish a new raw food recipe. I'll see you next time. Yeah.